Awesome. Birdie's here. He has corner mate. Mr. Corintos. Jason sent you. Yes, sir. With a message. Go on, Bernie. I've been I've been expecting this. The message is that um, he's going to continue to protect you, but you <laughs> can't go to any more meetings. You can't involve yourself in the business on any level. That's the message. That's the message. Yes, sir. Yeah. Go ahead. You can go. What does it mean? Jason here. You stole a car? Why would you do that? Oh, come on, Pop. You know the drill. You get a record, the cops think you're nothing but trouble. You know, it comes with the whole being an ex-con, son of a criminal package deal thing. You saying you didn't steal it? Tranquilo, don't worry. These cops have nothing on me. They have no evidence. They don't have a car. They have nothing against me. So it's already in the chop shop. Hey, guy's got to make a living, right? My son does not need to be involved in things like this. Yeah, well, you can tell that to the one who hasn't been born yet. Oh, there you go. Hi. Uh, listen, in case you're waiting for them to bring Sonny in, you can forget it. And FYI, I filed a court order barring any more nuisance arrests. Yes, I know. I, I received your order, Mr. Lansing. Hmm. It was premature, groundless, and doesn't apply to this case. Remarkable. Thank you. <laughs> it's an observation, not a compliment. So, uh, did you even punch the clock, or did Durant bring you in here to get you all warmed up? I figure it was never too soon to serve the citizens of this great city. No, yeah, well, remember to be grateful. <laughs> For you. What's that? That is all that's left of our partnership. You should go to work, because you, you shouldn't have to be here for this. I know this is your business, Sonny, but Jason saved your life. If you just give him some more time... What Jason did, this idea that you have that he was protecting me, sending Bernie here, to tell me what I can and can't do, who I'm allowed to deal with, it's unacceptable. Boss. Sonny, I don't know where Jason is, so I came instead. I'm gonna leave you too. If Jason can't show me enough respect to be here, it's on you, Sam. If you didn't like our desk, you could have just traded it in. You didn't have to dismantle it. Well, the desk wasn't the problem. It was just the notion that we could actually have a law firm inside of our living room. What'd you do with the rest of it? Chopped it up for firewood. <laughs> nice work. Very environmental. You didn't waste well, any of it. Thank you. So here we are back, right where we started. Mm -hmm. Opposite sides of the fence. Oh, and by the way, uh, this harassment by your department of Mr. Corinthos concerning the Escobar murder case has got to cease. When did Sonny become your client? I'm merely handling this matter for Mr. Corinthos. The rat's looking for you, Miss Davis. I'll be right there. Oh. Well, I guess we can continue this later, but right now I'm starving. Hey, would you, mm. you bring home sushi for dinner? Of course. You know how I love what you do with chopsticks. <laughs> See you later. Okay. Bye.
Jason didn't refuse to be here. He never got your message. He hasn't been home since I was brought in for for questioning on Escobar's death. They they think Jason did it, so they brought me in hoping he would show up. But he didn't. Alexis, of all people, got me out of the situation that I was in. Escobar leaned on Jason to kill me. Turns out Escobar didn't have much influence on Jason. He saved your life. No, what Jason did is he let me live to make a statement to the families. He's in charge now. He takes orders from no one. Sonny, he still saved your life. He let everybody know that you were under his protection. I don't need protection from Jason. He works for me. He takes orders from me. You tell Jason that I have to defend myself. I won't hesitate. I will kill him, Sam. Hey, boss, your brother's here. Get out, Rick. We have to talk about the situation. I said, get out, Rick. You don't want to hear this. What is it that I don't want to hear? It's business. You're going to do it, aren't you? You're going to call someone to take Jason out. Carly Carinthos is planning some big charity event at the hotel. Chances are the people you're after will be there. Okay, baby, good. Maybe I'll be there too. Jason left me no choice. In order for me to take back what's mine, I don't want to do it, Rick, but he has to die. Sonny, there's always a choice, right? Jason disrespected you. He took everything that you built, but you and he have a long history together. You have been the best of friends. You have trusted each other with your lives. He's an uncle to your children. You and I both know that you do not want to kill him. That's how the business works, Rick. Betrayal cannot be tolerated. If I don't take back what's mine, I'm nothing. Sonny, if Jason disappears or turns up dead, every cop in the city is going to come... Cops can't him. prove anything! Just listen to me. Let's just look at this hypothetically for a second, okay? All right, Jason's dead. Even if they can't prove it, everybody knows that you're responsible for it. It's right. a show of strength. You get your business back. That's great. But what then, hmm? You know, Emily's going to be so guilt-ridden that she set all of this in motion. And worse yet, she's going to know that her actions led to the death of her beloved brother. Her whole life is going to be shattered, Sonny. She's going to have to live with that guilt forever. And worse yet, Carly, you know how she's going to take it? I guarantee you it's going to be a much more active approach. I'm pretty sure that she tried to kill you herself. At the very least, she's going to hate you. And worse yet, she'll try to convince your children to hate you, which you know... I'd rather my time. sons hate me than despise me or pity me because... I'm too weak to take back what's mine. All right, instead of killing Jason... Instead of killing Jason, what if... What if you just... You just take him out of commission? You've wanted Jason out of the picture. How come you don't want him dead, Rick? Look, look if you lose everything, the price is too high. I don't want to play these games. I'm offering anymore. you a solution, son. A me. way for you to save Jason and yourself. How, Rick? Jason murdered Miguel Escobar last night. Why not send him to prison for it? In my business, we have a code the way we do things. It's about honor and respect. Jason and I have a problem. We don't go to the cops. Oh, okay, so you kill him instead. There's no honor in murder. Jason would rather be dead than be locked up. So you protect him by killing him, knowing that his death is going to cost you everything. Sonny, think. You're a smarter man than that. The only solution is to turn Jason in.
It's not gonna work, Rick. Sonny, you were standing next to Escobar when he was hit. All you have to do is say that you turned to see where the shot came from and you saw Jason. I didn't. You don't I have can't to prove, prove anything, Sonny. All you have to do is make a statement saying that you saw Jason and Durant will issue a warrant for his arrest. So you want me to lie? Send, send him to prison? No, what I want you to do is the smart and honorable thing. And that is to spare Jason's life. No, oh, what a surprise. The father of my children. All right, let me guess. You're here to file a suit on behalf of your client against the PCPD and or the DA's office for unlawful harassment as your client had nothing to do with the gangland style execution last no, 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 night. No, 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 no. We're both here as private citizens. And Mr. Corinthos would like to offer his voluntary testimony uh, for your case. Oh. Oh, okay, so you're volunteering that you had nothing to do with the crime. In fact, you were out having din din with your friends that can serve as witnesses. Mr. Corinthos was an eyewitness to the murder of Miguel Escobar. Does your client have any idea who actually shot Miguel Escobar? Sure. Jason Morgan. Grab Jason from our home, drag him down here, and you won't even tell me why? It's routine questioning. Which means that you brought him in for a crime you didn't commit and you're harassing him, we as usual. We had reason to bring him in, that's all I can tell you. I want to see Jason. Not now. Why don't you just go home and come back in a few hours? Look, why don't you let me see Jason before I call his lawyer and have him file a harassment suit against you personally? Hmm? You know what? Let me handle this. She's all yours. Sam, you can't talk to Jason right now because he's being booked and held for interrogation. Booked for what? The police have reason to believe that he's responsible for killing Miguel Escobar. Really? And what reason would that be? Because Durant dragged me down here last night and questioned me about Escobar's death. He didn't know anything about Jason shooting him then. He doesn't know any now for one simple reason. He didn't do it. There's an eyewitness who saw Jason kill well, Who Escobar. would do any... I haven't said a word since you left the station. I said enough there, Rick. Emily called. She wants to know about dinner. <sighs> Thanks, Max. I'll call, I'll call her later. All right. How am I supposed to tell her about this? You did the right thing. You keep saying that. Right for you, maybe. Okay, this is all going to play out the way... Well, it better, because I'm not going to stand in a courtroom and, you know, and swear in front of God, my children, everybody else, that I saw Jason kill Escobar. Okay, you're not going to have to. It's never going to go to the grand jury. That's your opinion. Sonny, listen to me. What have they got? They've got a dead body in an alleyway and two guys who are disposed of the body who have nothing to do with you or Jason. You've got an answer for everything. Hey, I'm your brother. I want to see you come out of this clean. Clean! There's nothing clean about it, Rick. Sonny, there is enough testimony here to fuel weeks, if not months, of arbitration. And while Jason is tied up, you are going to be able to step in, take back all your territory and your business allies, okay? You get it all back without having to kill Jason. And isn't that what you want? Hey. Okay, I'm gonna ask you a question and you have to say yes. Well, of course you're gonna say yes, because it's an evening of whining and dining and beautiful women. Not now, Carter, please. Oh, Sonny, come on. It's for a really great cause. It's for the hospital and the women... I said not now. Do you have any idea what's been going on around here today? No, I guess I don't. Jason was called in for questioning. You bastard! Jason saved your life last night and you thank him by sending him to jail? 